Hi everyone, I am Samida Hegde. I am interning with Lexus and Company. I am a third year law student studying in Ramay College of Law, Bengaluru. And today I am going to be discussing about liquidation or winding up of a company under company law. Now, liquidation and winding up is um, the same thing. So, liquidation is the process by which a company shuts down its activities. This is like the life of the company comes to an end. The company can decide to close down for many reasons such as um, refusal to continue operations or insolvency etc. The word liquidation of a company refers to the process of selling a company's assets. Uh, the company sells its assets uh, to, meet, uh, any, to meet the liabilities and obligations of, of the company. And if a company is liquidated due to bankruptcy, the liquidator can sell its assets and, all, and uh, pay and pay off the pending liabilities. And whatever, uh, if suppose there is a surplus or if there is a balance, then after making the payments to creditors, then the liquidator can uh, distribute this among the shareholders proportionately. So there are some checklists which um, have to be ensured uh, during the process of winding up. So what are they? So first, a board meeting will uh, will have to be convened for the approval of uh, winding up of a company. Then, uh, then they then they will need to appoint a liquidator, uh, an administrator who is called liquidator. He is the one who will. Uh, sell all the assets of the uh, assets of the company and uh, pay off the liabilities to creditors and then uh, distribute the surplus to shareholders. Um, a liquidator or uh, you can appoint a liquidator or an insolvency uh, professional. Then uh, simultaneously at the same time NOC should be obtained from the income tax department. Then before initiating a wind up process an intimation has to be made to the insolvency um, and bankruptcy board of India and uh, this has to be made within a week after passing the resolution. Um, then an announcement should be made to the public within 14 days of passing of the winding up resolution in an official gazette. And one has to be in English and one has to be in the local newspaper which is which could be in, uh, in the local language. The winding up uh, process should be completed within 12 months from the initiation of liquidation. So these are the checklists that has to be ensured uh, for the process of winding up. So then what are the documents that are required for this? You will need PAN card, certificate of closure of company's bank account, indemnity bond, uh, notarized by directors, then latest uh, uh, statement of company accounts, statement of uh, accounts related to assets and liabilities audited by chartered accountant, proof of approval of the resolution by three-fourths of the board members, then application for removing the name of the company. So these are the documents that will be required. So how to wind up a limited company? So there are two ways to wind up a company. That is one could be voluntary or compulsory winding up. Now voluntary winding up can be commenced either by special resolution or a resolution that is taken during um, a general body meeting. Or it can also be convened if there is any violation in, of terms and conditions of um, memorandum of association. The winding can, in that case also the winding can be executed. But, and the winding can also be executed due to insufficient uh, financial funds or the, or the inability to clear debts uh, or even in that case a company can be wound up. And the company requires a resolution from uh, the directors to sell the, all the assets or to transfer the stakes to another entity. So this is how a voluntary uh, winding up takes place. And then we have compulsory winding up. The compulsory winding up of a company is executed by a tribunal, for example, NCLT. Um, and 
so this compulsory winding up is initiated by court or a tribunal by passing a special um, resolution uh, or proposing a court intervention um, so made by the directors during the company's board meeting in board meeting so and uh, identically if any official of the company files a petition uh, to a court or a tribunal if a uh, official of the company or member of the company files a petition or if the company has indulged in any fraudulent activity um, or unlawful activity then compulsory um, winding up can be initiated so that is all about winding up of a company under company act um, so basic knowledge about what is winding and how it takes place so i hope you understood today's video i've also made other videos to check them out and please like share and subscribe to the channel and press the notification button for more updates thank you